Hi friends, this is your tech expert Neil and you are watching howisolve.com. In today's video, I'll show you how you can temporarily root an Android phone. This guide will be a general routing guide. There are several steps which are device specific. Using this guide, you'll get a general idea of what all steps you should expect when you are routing an Android device on a temporary basis. So what is a temporary root? In a temporary root, the root permission is only available till the time you reboot the phone as soon as you reboot the phone the root permission is removed so it's kind of a non-persistent root let's look at the requirement there are several requirements which has to be met to make sure that your device can be rooted temporarily the first and foremost is your bootloader of your device should be unlocked to unlock your bootloader i have created a dedicated guide how you can unlock your android device bootloader the link for that video will be down in the video description. So make sure to check that out. Apart from an unlocked bootloader device, you will also need a USB data cable and a computer with Windows installed. It can either be a laptop or a desktop. Apart from these hardware requirements, you will also need several software packages. I'll provide the links down in the video description. Mainly you will need ADB drivers, platform tools, and your boot image for your particular firmware. The steps for getting this file, that is the boot IMG file, is different and varies from device to device. In this tutorial, I'll show you the general way of finding out the boot image from a manufacturer firmware file. So without wasting much time, let's get started. Let us first head to our Android phone and we'll have to go in settings. So swipe from the top and I once again swipe and then you'll find this spanner icon over here click on that and then go down go in system then go in about phone this particular ui interface will be different depending on your android version this is the interface for android 9.0 so now scroll down and down at the bottom you'll find bill number you have to type bill number five times this will enable the developer options by doing this you will go into developer mode so since I've already enabled developer options, it's showing me a message. You're already a developer. After you have tapped on build number five times, click on the back icon and scroll down and then go in advanced options. Then scroll down and over here you will see developer options. Go in developer options and then scroll down, scroll down. Over here you will see OEM unlocking. If you have unlocked your bootloader, then this particular OEM unlocking should be checked on. If you have not unlocked your bootloader, then before unlocking it, I must tell you that if you unlock your bootloader, all the data on your phone will get erased. So basically, your phone will be factory reset. All the contacts, all the files, all the app, everything will be erased to the factory default. So before unlocking your device, keep that in mind. You have to take a backup if you have got some important files and information on your phone. So anyway, I am assuming that you have unlocked your bootloader and if that is the case, you should see that OEM unlocking should be checked on like this over here. Now, after that check, we have to scroll down and in debugging, you will see USB debugging. You have to enable this option by tapping on this button over here. This will allow us to connect your phone using your PC. So make sure that this is checked on. After doing that, go back and again go in about phone and go into the bill number you have to note down this bill number we'll need to download the firmware for your phone so to get the exact version of the firmware which is currently installed on your phone we need to match that file with this number so that way we'll be sure that the boot image that we require for getting temporary root is from the same firmware version that is currently installed on your device so note down this build number over here. After that, we'll install Magix. So we'll go back. To get the official version of Magix, you have to go onto the GitHub page. So we'll open a browser and we'll type Magix GitHub. Over here, this is the official web page of Magix. Tap on it to open it up. And then scroll down, scroll down, keep scrolling down. And at the bottom, you'll see these releases go to the latest release clicking on it and then you can see at present at the time of recording this video the latest release is 24.3 so we'll download this file scroll down and over here we'll see 
magis 24.3.apk you have to download this file by clicking on it like this and see the file is being downloaded so you download it and you install this i have already installed it so i'll not be installing it again if you are doing this for the first time you will have to provide installation rights to google chrome that will automatically pop up when you try to install it you'll also have to enable installation of apks from other sources in your android device that it can be enabled from the settings option once you have installed this app you'll find this kind of icon on your phone this is the magisk icon okay friends we have made all the changes that are required to get temporary root on your android phone now we will head to our desktop so make sure to connect your android device to your computer via the usb cable i have already connected them okay friends we are in my desktop the next thing to do is to download your original oem firmware from where we'll be extracting the boot image so to do that i already mentioned we have to note down the build number and in my case this is the build number and now we'll be downloading the firmware file for your android phone now this particular step varies from device to device so you will have to google search for your particular device model in my case since i am using a xiaomi mi a1 i'll type mi a1 firmware and then followed by my build number so i'll simply copy this and paste this over here you can see in my case i can find this over here on this web particular website this is xiaomi firmware updater.com if you are not confident about from which site you should download your firmware you can search xda forum from where you can download authentic firmware files to do that simply type your mo phone model number followed by firmware xda download so in my case it will be mi a1 firmware download xda and then for my particular phone you can see this is the post link providing the google drive links for the firmware files so in my case i will download it from this site xiaomi firmware updater.com and over here you can see there are two types of firmware available this particular thing is a typical of xiaomi phone you will get a recovery firmware as well as a fast boot firmware so we have to download the fast boot firmware and in this make sure to download the full rom over here i have already downloaded it the important point is this particular version should match with the build number so in my case you can see the build number version v10.0.24 pd h m i x m so this is perfectly matching so this is the correct firmware so now we want to extract the boot image from this particular firmware file i have already downloaded it i'll go to my downloads folder and show you so this is the firmware file that i downloaded it comes in a tar file you can extract it so on extracting it you'll find one more folder and over here in images you'll find boot.img file over here you can see over here boot.img file so this is the boot image file that is required to get root access to your device in devices from different oem manufacturer it won't be as simple as extracting the firmware file to get the boot img file so for your particular scenario again you can take help from google you can type extract boot img and then type your particular manufacturer like suppose let's say we have got a device from oneplus one plus so how to extract boot img file from one plus stock rom you can see this is the first link and so like that you'll have to find out for your particular device how to extract the boot img file this particular way of unzipping and directly finding the boot img file works for google devices that is your nexus pixel and android one devices like xiaomi mi a1 for other oem manufacturers you'll have to find out how to extract the boot img file for that particular system manufacturer okay once we have got the boot image file the next thing is you'll have to transfer this file to your phone since we have already connected the phone to your computer you can simply copy this and you can transfer it via usb cable so i will be transferring it using a program which i usually use which is called adb explorer and you can see in the sd card i'll copy the boot image file like that so now we have i've got the boot image file for my particular firmware on the device internal storage 
now we'll head back to our device okay friends we are in, into our phone and now we'll go straight to the magisk app that we just now installed open that app and then click on the install button over here click on next over here and then you can see you'll find this particular option select and patch a file others might be disabled in your case so we'll select this then then it will ask for the boot.img file which we have just now transferred to your internal storage so we'll go to our internal storage and over here you can see this is the boot image file that we just now transferred select that and once that file is selected you can click on let's go now you can see it is starting to patch the boot image file that we just now supplied it will take some time you can see it has passed the boot image file and you can see the location it is in the downloads folder so here is the full file name now we have got the past boot image so once the magis has created the past boot image you have to transfer that file from your phone internal storage to your computer so make sure to connect your phone to your computer and then we'll head to the location where magis has saved the file in my case it is in the downloads folder so i'll open the file explorer and then go on main storage in downloads and you can see over here this is the past boot image that magix has created we'll go to a computer i have already connected a device via usb and i'll transfer the file it is in my downloads folder we'll go in sd card download and over here you can see this is the file i'll copy it and paste it on my desktop now I'll, we'll reboot the phone in fast boot mode so that we can boot this past boot image on our Android device to get temporary root. For booting into fast boot mode, you will require platform tools. I've got a dedicated guide of how you can install ADB and platform tools on Windows system. I'll provide the links down in the video description. So once you have set up ADB drivers and installed platform tools, you can simply open a command prompt and then first you have to check whether the device is visible on ADB. To do that, type ADB devices hit enter if your adb is properly configured and your device is properly detected you should see the serial number of the device in the list of devices attached to go into your fast boot mode you have to type adb reboot bootloader this will reboot your android phone into the fast boot mode so you'll hit enter and your phone will reboot you can see the sound which just now came means that the phone has now rebooted and now it has been connected into the fast boot mode. Now to check whether a device has been connected in fast boot mode, we'll type the command fast boot devices. And there you go. You can see our phone has been properly connected in fast boot mode. Now in fast boot mode, to boot the patched file, go to the location where you have downloaded the Android patched file. In my case, I have downloaded it on the desktop itself. So I'll go CD desktop and then type the command fast boot and then the name of the file of a past boot image so you have to type fast boot boot in my case the name of the file is magis colon patched dot img whatever the file name that magis has created that you have transferred from internal storage to your computer type that file name and hit enter on doing this you don't have to worry about anything there will be no permanent changes done to your phone your phone will simply boot using this particular patched file and for this command to work obviously you will need a unlocked bootloader so that is the prerequisite so once you hit enter we will get our temporary root on your android phone now we will head back to our device okay friends once your device has rebooted after booting from the patched boot image you should have root access to confirm whether your phone has been rooted or not we will head to magis and over here you should see in install the version number of the magisk that, that we passed with and if your phone has been rooted instead of na here the version number will be mentioned or you can also download a root checker app to be double sure whether your root access is working or not and as mentioned before this is not a permanent root as soon as you reboot your device your device will become unrooted again i hope friends you like this video if yes smack that like button Share this video with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel howasol.com. We'll be posting more informative technology guides, tips and tricks and much more. Thanks for watching friends. See you later. This is Neil signing off. Bye bye.